Pike push-ups are underrated. Overhead pressing is possible with body weight and weights. Calisthenics build serious size in the upper body. Your shoulders and chest muscles will grow bigger as a byproduct. Discover how to do pike push-ups correctly. Learn the benefits to be gained and how to progress forever. What's good legends, physiotherapist Daniel Vadnell here for fitness FAQs. Here's the hidden power of calisthenics. Pike push-ups improve what's called relative strength. Pound for pound, how strong you are compared to your overall body size. Taller and heavier people are going to find this harder. My shorter and lighter followers have an inbuilt advantage. Regardless, through training, we can improve our ability to produce more force relative to our body weight. Grinding away at pike push-ups is proof of your body's amazing ability to adapt. Improved relative strength is yours when calisthenics exercises start feeling easier. The problem with pike push-ups is limited ROM. Our head is only reaching hand level. This is comparable to pressing weights above your head with shorty reps. No good. Limited ROM pike push-ups don't allow optimal size and strength gains when training overhead. Floor pike push-ups are okay for beginners, a stepping stone during the journey. Once you're able to comfortably do sets of eight reps on the floor, it's time to look forwards. Deficit pike push-ups are a perfect way to progress. We're now able to train overhead pressing by body weight with full ROM. By moving our shoulders into further extension, the delts and pecs are stressed much more. Expect to gain more overhead pressing strength and muscle mass when pushing at a deficit. My shoulders and chest have absolutely blown up since overhead pressing. I can see a noticeable difference in the delts becoming more 3D and the plumpness of my pecs. The superior stretch when training full range, plus near failure workouts, has transformed my aesthetics. It will for you too. Overhead training unlocks dormant gains and transfers to an improvement on horizontal exercises such as bench press and push-ups. It saddens me to see the average person skipping overhead pressing. We need a shift in the fitness culture, embracing the value of the vertical press, having overhead pushing be a widespread sight as opposed to something that's rare. Progressing towards harder exercises is the ultimate goal, your motivation to master the basics. Technique will make or break pike push-up effectiveness. Calisthenics requires a high level of focus and a mindset of voluntarily embracing the discomfort. With pike push-ups, we must stay leaning forwards, keeping the tension on our upper body muscles. You'll notice I'm staying on the tippy toes. This keeps the difficulty high, consistent and challenging. You have to be stubborn when it comes to the fatigue towards the end of a set. When things start to feel hard, keep leaning forward during pike push-ups with correct pressing posture. Pike push-ups are a prime example of getting out what you put in. With calisthenics, we are the resistance. Lean into the challenge and don't shy away from the difficult. Avoid the following mistakes. Extreme elbow flare is bad. This makes the exercise easier and can irritate the shoulders in people with poor flexibility or strength. Don't segment the push. Breaking into two movements cheats by overusing the chest and it offloads the shoulder muscles. Don't turn the move into a horizontal push up. The biggest sin is not leaving a thumbs up on a fitness FAQs video. Supportive people, smash the like button. How to keep your technique strict. Apply full body tension by squeezing the legs and bracing the abs. Increased stiffness from the lower body and trunk irradiates to the upper body muscles, making you stronger. Using a dominant tempo serves you well. Notice how I've been using a smooth speed when lowering and an explosive push when coming up. Milk the negative. That's where all the muscle building goodness lies. Vertical forearms are your visual cue. By lowering with the head forward of the hands, you'll be tensioning the shoulders and pressing properly. A depressed scapular posture is key. This hollowing increases stability at your shoulders and makes for a powerful push. I recommend hands shoulder width apart or slightly wider. Pushing in the scapular plane with a modest tuck is best practice. Pause reps intensify difficulty. Stopping at the bottom takes away the elastic recoil from your tendons. This technique is friendly on your joints and is useful for bodybuilding. Let's review the progressions from easy to hard. Floor pike push-ups for beginners. The distance between hands and feet determines the difficulty. Pick a setup which challenges your current level. 
Elevate the feet to increase how much body weight you have to overcome. Struggling with tight hamstrings? Bend the knees and get busy pike pushing as you work on doing hamstring flexibility stretches separately. Deficit handstand push-ups for intermediates. Parallettes are useful if you're someone with fragile wrists. The neutral grip feels comfortable and permits pain-free pressing. Make sure to keep active muscular tension at the deep deficit. Don't be resting passively on your joints to cheat. Weighted pike push-ups for bodyweight beasts. Making ourselves even heavier is the secret source to keep this basic exercise effective. We're improving both relative and absolute strength here thanks to the bonus body weight. Small weight plates and a tight dip belt are recommended. Trust me, you don't need much load to be challenged. Granted, the setup is annoying to strap in and out, but the body weight benefits are worth the effort. With a mere plus five kilos added, I'm finding the humble pike push-ups hard for low reps and thus effective for strength gain. It's safe to say you and I won't be outgrowing the weighted pike push-up anytime soon. Rings are next level stuff. The instability exposes any weakness that may exist. The lockout is noticeably challenging as we fight to straighten the arms and turn the rings out. Expect to shake as your body struggles through the final reps. It's a really good sign of sufficient effort and training hard enough. Unstable surface exercises on rings demand more complex coordination. Our stabilizer muscles are working harder to guide movement meaning the overhead press fatigues faster with less reps as a result. Training on the rings is guaranteed to invigorate the basic pike push-up for everyone. Using this exercise variation provides a novel stimulus to challenge the conventional overhead press. The freedom of movement when pike pushing on rings feels incredible. It's like butter to your body. The joints feel great. The muscles feel stimulated. It's really good stuff. This is the body weight equivalent of using dumbbells at the gym. Our body can use a pain-free pushing path for sustainable strength and muscle gain. How to use pike push-ups in practice. For strength gain, three to five sets of three to five reps is recommended. This improves neurological efficiency, aka the software of your body. For building muscle, three to four sets of six to 12 reps is a good guideline. Higher reps closer to failure and higher volumes gives the necessary mechanical loading to grow. For handstand push-up training, practice balance and strength separately. Spend the start of your workout on handstands. Refining the skill of handstands in the absence of fatigue improves balance faster. Following up with pike push-ups builds overhead strength in your prime mover muscles. Doing strength independently is an efficient and effective approach. Overhead press strength is stubborn for everyone. It's not unusual for strength to stall for multiple workouts without increasing reps, progression, or weight. The more time you spend overhead pressing, the slower the gains are going to come. Don't fight this fact or you'll be feeling frustrated for no reason. Most people give up on overhead exercises because they lack patience. With realistic expectations and consistency, the fruits of your labor will come. Don't give up. Pike push-ups are a worthy exercise in your overhead press toolbox. The technique is simple to learn and balance won't be a limiting factor. Progressive overload can be applied which allows you to build muscle and strength long term. Thanks for watching everyone. Check out another fitness FAQs video to keep learning. See you next time.